Good morning. What a beautiful day today is. Uh, couldn't resist it, had to get outside. Um, today's lesson is going to be about creating the T braces. Um, this is gonna be the uh, tension sections of your bridge. Uh, so you're gonna create four little T shaped pieces and uh, it's a lot of gluing, just taking all the pieces that you had before, doing some measurements and uh, gluing it all together. Hopefully uh, it's not too much of a problem. Um, so we'll see how it looks when you're done. Let me know, send me pictures. Uh, really interested in how y'all are doing. Thanks. Okay, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to end up using this piece of scrap material that we have left over. That's why I said don't throw this stuff away. If not, if you have another piece, anything that is long, you could even tear out another piece of notebook paper. Um, but we're gonna use it to make some measurements and mark some stuff. Uh, you are going to need one of your two millimeter uh, beams that you created. And you're going to need one of your trapezoids two of your triangles, and one square. So this is what we're gonna be using here. Oh, and one of your four millimeter pieces. So this is what we're gonna use. Four millimeter piece, uh, two millimeter piece, um, trapezoid, two triangles, and a square. And the leftover scrap. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this leftover scrap and make it into a flat surface so that I can work with it. So I'm going to take this piece, cut it off. And this is what I really need, this flat surface. I'm going to turn it over so I have it blank on this side. I'm going to take my ruler and we're going to make some measurements at 26 and a half centimeters. Millimeters. Now, if you look here, you can see I can do it. I don't want to start at the edge. I want to have a little bit of room on both sides. It doesn't really matter where you started at. So I'm going to say zero. And I'm going to make me a big old dot there. And 26 and a half. I'm going to make a big old dot there. Um, and now we want to figure out what's in between that. So 26 and a half divided by two. 26 divided by two is 13 and 0.5 divided by two is two and a half. So 13 plus two millimeters plus half a millimeter. So somewhere right there. And that's my halfway mark. So I should have the start, halfway, and the finish. And that way I can line everything up. All right, I'm gonna set this off to the side for just a second. I'm now gonna take my triangles and I need to divide my triangle in half. So what I really wanna do is I wanna put a line down the center of this. And so the easiest way to do it is I'm gonna take my other triangle, put it next to it, and then go from corner to corner. Now you could measure it if you want to I'm just going to try to uh, cut it in half. And I just need a little mark. And what we're going to end up doing is putting this triangle and lining it up there. And this triangle and lining it up there. So, let's see if I can move this up a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. So I have my two triangles, and now I'm gonna take my two millimeter, two millimeter piece of material. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this and make it 26 and a half. So it's a little bit long. You know what? I'm gonna mark it first. Now I know where to trim it. And I am going to glue 
it halfway on there. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to glue it, press it down. Oop. Then you spread it, the faster it dries. Okay, so there's the first piece. Maybe I can get a little more light in here. Sorry, it's so dark. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side. Add some glue. And I wanna make sure they're facing the same direction. Glue it down at the bottom, halfway on. Press it down so that it dries. Spread the glue out. And there's that. Okay, so that's the first. Now we're gonna take our little trapezoid and we need to find the center of the trapezoid. So it should be 30 millimeters at the bottom. So it's 30 millimeters, so that would be 15 millimeters. I want to mark on here where that halfway point is. And then I'm going to glue those two right on top of each other. And as long as you're close, it doesn't have to be super gigantic perfect. If you're off by a couple millimeters, that's okay. Press it down so it glues. Oop. Let it sit there for a second. Okay, now we're gonna take our four millimeter piece. And our four millimeter piece needs to be 15 millimeters long. So I can do that with this. I'm gonna start at zero and I'm gonna to go to 15. Gosh, let me put that up here so you can see it. 15 millimeters. And then I'm gonna cut that. Don't lose this piece. You're gonna end up using it, so don't lose it. 15 millimeters. And then I'm going to take uh, the top of this and I want to glue it right at the top of the 15. So if you can see, let's see if I can show you here and zoom in on this. We're going to put it just so the top of the cut and I can just barely see a triangle at the top and I want to try to get it centered down here at the bottom. So that's how I'm gonna glue it. So, a little strip of glue, something close to that. It's probably too much glue, but whatever. Line it up, press it down, wipe the extra glue off. And I'm close, I'm close. As long as we're close, that's all that really matters. And then this piece is gonna glue right down here. And you wanna kind of center it right in the middle of your trapezoid. Can you see that right? Let's see if I can focus it in right in the middle of the trapezoid. So you're gonna center it right there. And press it down. Try to make it as per or perpendicular as you can. Perpendicular means that this is 90 degrees here and 90 degrees here. And that's what you want to create. 
and you need four of them. You should have enough materials. You need four of them. So you're going to create four of these guys right here. And that's your job for today. Making four of these. Good luck. Okay, so this was my attempt at using time lapse for making this movie to make it go a little bit faster. It didn't work out so well. I won't use it in the future. If you miss what's happening here, go back and look at the original, uh, the first part of this video, and uh, all I'm doing is repeating that over and over four times. Um, you can also take a look when I do it with paper here in a second because I did not make the same mistake twice. So it'll be a little easier to see when I make it with uh, the regular uh, copy paper or regular notebook paper as opposed to the file. Anyway, um, enjoy and uh, we'll talk with y'all tomorrow.